So uh, this video will give you an overview of the settings that you need to make sure to set up for Turnitin when you're using the integration within D2L. So first you want to go to your assignments area and set up your assignment. So you'll choose assignments and then you'll choose a new assignment and you'll give it a title. And you want to make sure that you uh, include the max number of points the student can make on this. So if it's out of 100, out of 20, whatever the highest grade they can make on this assignment um, is what you'll put here. And then you want to make sure that you um, associate it to the grade item that it needs to go with. And so here you can uh, choose from grades if it's already a grade item. And so I can either make a new grade item for this or I can choose to link to an existing grade item. It's up to you. If I don't already have a grade item named Sample 1 Assignments, then I need to make it. If not, I just need to link it to an existing grade item. And I would just pick whichever one it goes with. So then I can put in a due date if I want to, as well as instructions of what to include. Um, over here on the side, you see that we have the availability start and end date. We have the submission and completion. We want to make sure that we've picked file submission because only file submissions are what's going to be sent through Turnitin. Um, you have the option to do a text submission. That's where they don't have to attach a file. They can just type in the text box uh, for the submission, but that's not going to go through Turnitin. So you want to make sure to choose file submission, which is what is there by default. Um, you can choose how many files they can uh, submit as well as how many submissions they're allowed. I encourage you to just leave it on the default of unlimited submissions and then all submissions are kept. Then you can come and choose the evaluation and feedback. You can associate a rubric if you want to um, and all of that. Now this is where Turnitin is going to come uh, into play. So you'll choose manage Turnitin. And this is where you can enable Grademark for this folder. Now when you enable Grademark, it's automatically going to enable the originality check. So notice when I checked this, it automatically checked this. And so Grademark and originality are two separate pieces of Turnitin. Grademark allows you to digitally mark up a student's paper. So the equivalent of taking a marker and writing all over their paper, making comments, that kind of thing. Um, originality check is what's going to give you the percentage of how much this paper matches to other papers in the database, periodicals, websites, etc. So you want to have both turned on. Even if you don't use Grademark and you don't mark up the paper, it's a good idea to just have that turned on. So you want to make sure that enable Grademark is turned on, that it is checked to automatically sync, which is what will be a default anyway, and then enable originality check. We encourage you to allow learners to see the Turnitin similarity scores, which will mean after they submit their paper, uh, within a couple of minutes, they can go back to their assignment area and see the percentage um, and see their own percentage and look at it. It's a great learning tool for them to see how well they're um, paraphrasing, how well they're citing sources, that kind of thing. If you don't want them to see their similarity score and you just want to see it as the teacher, you don't have to check that. And then you want to automatically originality checking on all submissions. So this is as soon as somebody submits a paper, it's going to automatically send it to turn it in. You don't want to have to manually push those things through. And so if you manually check, the, if you check the second one, uh, which is going to be manually push them through, you're going to have to go in there and specifically uh, pick which ones to send through. You probably don't want to do that. So we'll just uh, leave it on the default. So here, uh, all we actually did was check this first one, and then everything else was go was set to go. But I just want to review again the settings that need to be checked here is enable grade mark, automatically sync, enable originality check, allow learners to see turn it in similarity scores, and then automatically um, automate originality checking. Now we're not quite done. Some confusion and some issues can come from the more options in turn it in button. So you want to make sure to check this because there's going to be some more settings that you need to fill out. So all of this will pull over from before, but under optional settings, you want to make for absolute sure that submit papers to the standard repository is checked. If not, it's not going to hold those papers in the repository. So it might be that um, once they when, when you submit the papers, you want them to be held there so that other, other sets of papers can be checked against them. If you just want them to be sent through and not stored so that other papers in the future can't be checks, checked against them, 
you can choose do not store the submitted papers. You might choose the do not, uh, do not store the submitted papers in cases of the students are submitting a draft and you don't want that draft to be stuck in there when they go to submit their final paper, which would be very similar. Um, in that case, you might not want to store the submitted papers. But in most cases, probably 90% of the time, you do want it to be saved in the standard paper repository. So you want to check that. Um, you can choose to check the uh, enable grammar checking if you want to. Scrolling on down, it is going to be very important. So everything else was kind of a, a choice. It's not really a make or break if you select them or not. Again, the main thing is to make sure the standard paper repository is on. And then scrolling on down, it's going to be very important that compare against is checked. You want to make sure that student paper, current archived web uh, web content and periodicals are checked. You want to make sure all three of these are checked. If not, it's going to send the paper through the repository, but it's not going to um, check it against anything. So you're not going to have a report. It's going to send it through Turnitin, but you're not going to have a report because it's not checking against anything. So you want to make for absolute sure that these three buttons are checked. Um, under when to generate similarity scores, I recommend the second option to generate those reports immediately. So as soon as the student submits it, within a couple of minutes, the report should be generated. But it will allow students to resubmit. So if a student submits a paper and says, uh-oh, I submitted the wrong document and submit again, that second paper will also go through to turn it in. If you select this first, first option, it will the student would submit the first time and it would go through Turnitin. They say, uh-oh, that wasn't the right paper. They go to submit again. It does allow them to submit to D2L, but it doesn't send it through to Turnitin. So you probably don't want that because, again, students do make mistakes in what papers uh, they submit. So I definitely encourage you to choose the second one here. Then this is a preference here if you want to exclude bibliographic materials, quoted materials, or small sources. Um, if you choose to do small sources, you can tell how many words you want to set. So if I do, it's not going to show up as a source or it's not going to show up as a hit if there, unless there are three or more words in unison together. Um, so it's up to you on that. If you want all the options, if you want it to just hit, um, show anything it could possibly be hitting, then you would uncheck all these. And then a great thing to help you out to not have to go back every single time and edit these settings is to save these settings for future use. Now, this setting only works for when you create new assignments. If you've created four or five assignments and you didn't come in here and edit these settings, you need to go to all four of those assignments and make sure these settings are set because this is only going to work when you make new assignments. It's not going to retroact any assignments that you've already made. It's also not going to retroact any assignments that you copied over from other courses. So if you have some assignments you copied over from another course, you want to go and make sure that these settings are set up in the more options and turn it in because this is going to only be for brand new assignments. Will these be the defaults? And again, I just want to quickly run over them one more time. The main ones is going to be standard paper repository. Make sure all three of these under compare against are checked. And then here, make sure the second one is selected and that you have it saved for default. So then we're going to submit it. And then I'm able to save my assignment area and I will have successfully turned on um, turn it in for this particular assignment area. So I want to make sure to do all of this before students start to submit. Because if you don't have turn it, on, turn it on turned in or if those settings are not right, then you may have issues with them going through to the, um, to the, to the turn it in um, area. So that's how you set it up. Once students submit to the assignment area, um, and it, if it has been selected that they can view their originality report, their process for seeing that is going to be go to the assignments area on the nav bar, and then to choose beside the name of the assignment, there is going to be a one submission, one file, so they would need to click on that. And then it's going to show them the paper that they submitted, and then they should see their similarity score there when they click on this. It will open up into the Turnitin Feedback Studio. For the instructor, they would just need to go to the assignments area, scroll down, choose the name of the paper, and if all the settings were uh, on for Turnitin, they'll be able to see that similarity score, click on it, and open up. Now, what happens if I did not turn on Turnitin at all um, in my assignment area? So I made my Dropbox, I made my assignment area, but I didn't turn on Turnitin at all. I didn't select any of those options. 
and I decide later I do want those papers to go through. So you'll see that you can edit the assignment. So I can come and choose to edit the assignment. And students have already submitted to this, by the way, but I'm just going to edit the assignment and I'm going to turn on Turnitin. Now I haven't turned it on in any capacity. So I'm just going to come over here, go to the Turnitin integration, manage Turnitin, and I'm going to turn this on. Again, I'm just going to check these. And I'm going to make sure all these settings are turned on. Now, since I had already saved the others by default, I don't have to go back in here, but you do want to make sure that those are set up correctly as well. So I've turned on Turnitin for this Dropbox. Now what I need to do is manually push these papers through to turn it in. So I just scroll down, I select the name of the Dropbox that I just turned on turn it in for. And then what I'll see is a little box here. And that tells me to manually push the papers through to turn it in. So I'll select this, I'll see in progress for a little while, um, maybe a couple of minutes until the report is generated, and then it'll show me that percentage. Again, this manually pushing it through only works if you have not had turn it on settings turned on at all. So one particular issue is what if I had my turn it in settings turned on, but I just didn't go to that more options and turn it in and select those compare again. So maybe I had it to where those compare against options were not turned on. So in this case, so I'll edit this assignment so you can see what I'm talking about. So in this case, I had turn it in turned on. So over here, it was turned on. I just didn't check all the particular boxes. So here, all of the turn it in was turned on, but under more options, it did not have the compare against check. So this is why it's super important to make sure that these are checked. So here it did not have these checked. So it submitted it to the repository. It just didn't check it against anything. So what is a telltale sign that that has happened? So when you go to grade the assignment in the assignments area, when you scroll down to grade it and you choose the Dropbox, you're going to see something that looks like this. It'll say no report, no score. And again, you can go back and edit that Dropbox and check to see that Turnitin was turned on, but those particular boxes weren't uh, checked. So in that case, since Turnitin was turned on, it just didn't compare against anything. There's nothing you can do to push it through yourself. In that case, you do need to contact IT support so we can get in touch with Turnitin and have them push it through on their end.